right, traders, let's take a look at uh, your market outlook. We looked yesterday at aggressive short entries, and man, are they working. The classic SOS for sell signal. So you'll note right here that we had an impulse move to a new structure high. We've talked about this qualified sell signal for four to five days minimum. The initial test was aggressive because we went swing low to new structure high, projected the 127. We inverted the last swing low, look left to the previous static swing high. This is the 127 Fib extension. And then we came into this price point right there with a massive overbought condition, followed by a nice little pullback to 167. We had a one, two, three, four bars down, put in the swing low right here. Then we put in an inside bar, and it was an NR4. It was the narrowest range of the most recent four sessions. And then one, two, three, four, five, six days back up. So a 10 bar pattern, four days down, six days back up. Beautiful symmetry. We talked yesterday about the aggressive short entries right at this level. Again, overbought SOS1, retest bearish divergence SOS2, 127 extension, 1414 extension, two pieces of technical information using Fibonacci extensions. So again, it was an SOS3 aggressive. So we talked about buying the 169 puts right here, up nicely today. We talked about selling it here. Again, it's aggressive. The minimum expectation would be a retest of this 167.20. You see that right now we're 30 cents away as we roll over. Indexes hit highs yesterday and then took off lower. So let's just take a quick look right here across the board. SPY. Same visual price pattern. Now, SPY put in a higher high with bearish divergence and then a beautiful candlestick right here. We gapped lower, filled the gap two days later, and now that bad boy. So if you bought the spider puts, same thing. Congrats. Well done. QQQs. Qs overbought bearish divergence, same visual price pattern. Again, right there is the short entry. See the Qs roll over this morning. Now let's take a look at TLT. We talked about long entries three days ago as we had this pullback right back into that structure support. So right here we talked about buying calls. We had an initial pop-up day. Then we pulled back right here. And now back into that 1250s. So if you haven't yet, opportunity to cover part of the position here. We'll see now if uh, TLTs rally back to this 115 handle. GLD. We looked at GLD for a potential short entry. Again, closes above this 128 handle, 128.30 right here. We're wrong. Love the overbought condition. Love the previous structure filling the gap. Low risk. Even a retest of the 123s here. Real nice risk reward ratio. And then a potential drive to new structure lows. Again, purely structure based. Tighten that up and look left. You see that we're still in a bear continuation pattern, a recent turn down right here. All right, and then let's go take a look at IWM. Again, we're not quite to that DSR level, gang, but the puts right there bought puts again two days later on an adverse excursion. So we'll talk in the option side about keeping our powder dry or some powder dry. So on the retest right here, Overbought bearish divergence, 25 to 50% adverse excursion here. Anything we added in yesterday was taken off near yesterday's uh, close. And then we'll see if we get the pullback to the 115s. So beautiful moves across the board right here. Now let's go take a look real quickly at our 1,000 tick. Yesterday we talked about a low risk long entry in crude oil. And we did our projections right here. We look for the retracement trade. Right there at 836, we got the turning point, SOS1, massive oversold, SOS2. The black tip came in two bars later. There's the SOS3, cluster 3 signal, and then the white bar. Now, again, we were looking for a projected move into the 107s to 107.10. From the long entry right here, 613, we made a 30-cent move. 
before pulling back, making new lows in the afternoon session, and then they popped overnight. So we went right back to that relevant market structure, which was this previous volatility spike, and they stopped on a dime. So the 1,000 tick held, rolled back over, and now we're right back down into this comfort zone, the 106 to 10640 region right there. So we'll take a look at more information about the strategy. We're going to cover a couple of things in today's session. The other thing is yesterday we took a look at the mini Russell and the Russell popped right into a beautiful swing high. Now in the price action series we're talking a lot more about price action. This was the qualified sell signal that we got yesterday. So we looked left right here at the time this strategy was long the market. That's the fib dot strategy, which is the momentum strategy. We were long the market. Our target one had been hit for $290 profit. And then we talked about this one exiting on a pullback below the fib dots. But we looked at this market and said, okay, now with our level two, we can use some of our trading savvy and note that as the market approached this 1187 handle, we were A, extremely overbought, B, look left, we had previously seen a symmetrical double top at this price point that led to a 13 point decline. So we talked about exiting the balance right there. We also said if we exit the balance, then there could be upside and there could be downside. So again, the one thing I really want to drive through for you today is you got to consider all the time the upside and the downside of everything that you do in the markets. If I exit here and the market rolls over like it did, then I made the right decision. If I exit here, the market breaks that structure resistance area and drives to significant new highs, then it was the wrong thing to do. We want to take a look at the conditions and then what we could have done over a sequence of events, 20, 30, 40, 50 trades. Then we've got better statistical data, more likely to duplicate itself as we move forward in our trading. All right, so the long entry, and then right there, we got stopped out. Again, the stop loss is the value of the gray fibs here, minus five ticks. So from the long entry at 8040, this one came off at 8660 for $620. So just under a grand on that trade. Then the market stopped on a dime at that previous level. It gave us our overbought, higher, low, bearish divergence here. Tried one more time to put in this triple top. But again, gang, what do turning points look like? We had an impulse move followed by a continuation. So we had directional movement prior or a move underway. And we talked about what does an end of move look like? Well, there's the double top and there's the retest followed by a qualified sell signal. Okay, so this sell signal occurred right here prior to the close. I've shut it off at 11.55 and then I say let the strategy run to the natural close. So the short entries occurred at 560s. There's the $290 target hit right there. And then again, the balance of the position taken out here as we trail back above the fib dot, which is the dots right there in black. So it's those types of momentum moves that we look for to take advantage of this particular strategy. Now, let's take a look right here. The exit right there came in at around 1228. Had I had a wider trail stop at possibly the 3618, it would have allowed me to stay short while this market rallied and then continue in that move lower until the crude oil market finally closed. But again, we're not interested in the best performance historically on a single trade by trade basis. What's worked best historically? All right, so let's take a quick look right here. And we did this previously and we'll get into more about this. But you'll see with the two contract trade, again, high degree of accuracy over this recent three week period. And now beautiful trade right there. More importantly, let's take a look at the importance of these big days. Again, it tends to smooth out over the course of every month and then every quarter. 
Okay, so remember what we did was we increased our max daily loss, but you can see that 40% of our profits came from four days here. Very, very important that when the markets give us the type of movement that this system strives to perform in, that we take advantage. So not only did we perform on the way up, but we also performed on the way down. And in a momentum trading strategy similar to this, all we want to do is, A, we want to participate in the big directional moves that have momentum behind them when they occur. It's never a question of if they're going to occur. It's just when and then how far and will we participate. And then obviously we take losses when there's very little directional movement. So even as we've seen contraction here in the recent periods and the average true range on the mini Russell is pulled back, there's still enough directional movement with just these four and five point directional moves intraday to generate some great profits. Okay, and then we can smooth it out right here, take a look at the weeklies. So over the last four weeks, no losing weeks, same thing that we saw in the June contract as well. Okay, so more on that to come, but again, it's distribution. All right, so we've just taken out some pretty significant levels in the Russell as we look left. So I'm going to be paying attention today. Let's watch our 1150 handle. A, let's use the if-then thought process. If we're short, then we've got to consider that 1150 to 51 region for profit targets. If flat, then we've got to look at that price point for profit targets. Or I'm sorry, for long entries, for a swing trade. Okay. So 11.50 handle, we've broken below the 71s. So as we look left right here, if this market gives us a pop back in to the 68 to 71, then we'll look for the short entries right there and trend continuation. So let's go in here, real quick Fib analysis. Swing high right here, yesterday's HOD 89.50, down to new structure lows here a full 34 points lower. And now let's take a look at the 382 Fib retracement, which is going to come in right around that 1170 handle. So we'll have structure relevance there, as well as confluence with a Fibonacci retracement level. So 1169 even. All right, so key price point right there, and then obviously we'll watch the strategy trade throughout the session. Crude oil took out the swing highs, but again, we're back down into this region. So if we trade through the 06s, I've made 250 this morning just on a quick little buy right here on a two lot. I'm going to look for a potential move down to the 580s, but right now stuck like Chuck, and you see the momentum strategy right here is currently short. So we're going to watch the momentum trade today on a very tight 200 tick chart right here. So I can teach you a little bit more about how the strategy works. And then over here on the right side, you'll watch the order execution and so on. So the strategy is running on the left side, 200 tick in a sim. All I'm looking to do right now is just show you the strategy performing in real time and then how we can manage that level two over here on the right side. So right here, strategy just got short. It places the profit target at 10 ticks, 2.5 points. And then it places the protective stop, one at 10 ticks, one at 12 ticks. Now again, I can come in and I can move those stops manually. I can trade around the position. And we're just literally looking to scalp part of the position and then let the balance run. 